Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to be showing you how to make a pop-up card today. And this pop-up slimline card has five pop-ups on it. Stay tuned till the end of the video for a bonus envelope. I've used this one and this one here. And I've coloured them with my Copic marker. Now this is an RV06. The colour is Cerise. And I've cut these three hearts from the die cuts that go with this set. So these are the Hippo dies. And there's a set that will cut the three die cuts and I've coloured in this little bit. Now be aware when you colour with Copic markers, they will bleed through onto the back. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to have my panel sitting inside. So I have a panel that's going to sit inside there like this. Now the hippos that are going inside, you can see I've made them here. And this one has a little hat on. This is so cute. And I've just run those through my die cutting machine and I'll show you how I coloured them. Take your washi tape off. And that's how they cut out. I also have cut out some shapes here as well. A hat and the pom pom and the hearts. There's three hearts here that cut out. So be careful, there are some very small pieces. RV06, and this is Cerise. And you use the brush tip. And I'm just going to colour the hat. And then the pom pom. Colour that in. And I'm using the same colour cardstock that I used on the hippos, which is the smoky slate. And then I have a white gel pen. Any type of white gel pen would work on this. I'm just going to put the little stripes on with the gel pen. Place a little bit of glue there. I'm going to attach it onto the top of the hat. Markers. And you can use your tweezer to hold onto it if you don't want to get ink on your fingers. And there's one heart and the other heart. All I did with her was to colour the choo choo. And the ballet slippers, just the edges, back your white gel pen, just colour in her fingernails and the whites of her eyes and a little dab inside each ear and then the whites of her fingernails here. How cute is she? That looks pretty cute. It just gives it that lift. Now I use this stamp set here. You make me happy, which is here. On the inside, congrats, let's celebrate. Now what we need to do before this goes together is we put this aside. You can see the only colors I've used here is a little bit of Copic marker on the flower and a little bit on the mouth. And three of those little hearts stuck on. I wanted to keep it very simple. So you're going to start with this piece is going to be seven and three quarter inches or 20 centimeters by 18 centimeters or seven inches and score it down the middle. And then this becomes your inside piece. Now you can see I've already stamped and I want to keep it on the bottom half because our middle hippo is going to come out this deep. So you don't want to stamp up too close to that line whatever it is that you're using. And now I'm going to draw in these reference points with my T ruler and a pencil. 
I'm going to fold it back in half and line it up on my ruler and I'm going to draw in these lines here. I'm going to start at inches. I'm going to start on the inches side and I'm going to start at half an inch, one and one eighths of an inch, two inches, two and a half inches, then we're going then we're going to go to three and a half inches and four and one eighth of an inch five and one eighth of an inch five and five eighths of an inch six and six eighths of an inch and the final one is at seven and a quarter inches A very light line half an inch deep on each side so we're going to go to half an inch the top and half an inch here I'm going to do a light line this is going to get rubbed out so keep it light a very light line and now we're going to come down with our ruler and we're going to mark these lines in with our ruler Get it right where you can see it. I'm so, I do apologise about the shadows. It's getting quite dark at night here and I'm just about ready to call it a day. I need to go and put some dinner on. It's getting quite dark because it's winter time in Australia now. So, And these don't have to be exact. You know, this is not going to make or break your card if you don't get them exactly right. It's fine. You can have a little bit of play around with these with whatever size card you're using if you're not doing a slim line you're not going to be able to fit as many hippos on that's okay I don't mind that at all <laughs> and then this middle one here is a three and a half centimeters which is one and a quarter inches deep and one and a quarter inches deep on this side and then you can just use your pencil and then you're going to rub out the lines you don't need. So I'm going to take a rubber and rub out the lines I don't need so I don't cut the wrong areas. I'm just going to take some small scissors and I'm going to cut these lines up. So here we go. It's our first line. Just cut to the line and stop. Then this one you're going to cut all the way down and again on this side just cut there and stop and this one you're going to cut to the line to the line to the line to the line okay so here's our measurements and this is how this is going to work so we're going to fold it back on itself Open it up, and here's your mechanism. And push all these up and fold them in. I tend to do one side first, get that one corralled, and then bring out the others, and then give it a good fold over. So you're now going to fold it this way and you fold it like this, give it a press and fold it up and there's your mechanism. So you can see we've got one that's way out in front and two that are in the back. It's kind of cool. Okay, now don't worry about your lines here, you're not really going to see them because you're going to place your figures over the top of them. So what you want to do next is you want to put your little pop-ups in. Pretty cute. So the way these work, and it depends on what you're using to pop up, you can see how they're thicker on this side. You don't want them sticking out over the side like this. You don't want them out. They've got to sit within the boundaries. So this one's going to sit to this side. That's the only place you want your glue. So on we come. I'm just making sure that we 
no glue on the other section. There she is there. And next one. Can you see what I'm doing here? This is very poor lighting. I do apologize. I'm really sorry about this bad lighting. One, oops, two. And she's going to be quite close, tucking in. Then you're going to skip this one. You're going to come up to the next one. Leave the one with the little hat because she's the prima donna. She's going to be standing outside the front of the class. And then the next one is coming on again, keeping her to the left. come any lower than that line or she'll fall off and then the next one same thing just to the left on the left hand side make sure her foot's not poking out see how they just fit you want those four fitting like that one and then this is slightly to it's this is right in the center but she's going to be slightly on the left and she's going to have more you're going to cover all the way to this line here so she'll really stand up so just going to cover put some glue on this side of the line and slide her over a little bit so she's not in front of the other one I'll wipe that off so these are how they're sitting I'll carefully fold them make sure they're going to work and then stand it up to dry so this is your mechanism this is how they look how cute is that that is cute is it not and we still have to put the front on we still have to make the envelope I'm going to let them dry so they're nice and firmly attached you can see how beautiful that is how good is it it's so cute okay and I'm going to place this inside the cover you can see how nice that looks now so we've got the white on the inside there looking really really nice and to attach this i'm going to do one side at a time and i'm going to close it up and i'm going to put some glue some of my tombow glue on the edges and all the way down here and all the way into those points so each of the points is covered and I'm going to glue this. Make sure you've got it the right side up. Open your card, make sure you're gluing it to the right section. This is going to go into the back of the card. So this is the plain area of the card. And you're going to make sure you have the same. This is why this glue is so good. You want to have the same edges this side and this side. Line them up nicely. So they're like that. And press it down flat when you've got it right. Make sure it's going to fold over before it sets. Give it a fold. And now the next thing you're going to do is the same on this side. So you're going to come along these areas here. You can see what I'm doing. You're going to come into these points and also have some glue down the middle. You don't want this moving anywhere once it's set. And you want to close the cover over the front. If you were to try and put this on, it's not going to work. You need to close your cover and press. I'm actually going to get some white paper that's clean. So I'll give this a good press. If you've got glue on your hands, as I do, give it a good press with some white paper. Press it down. So here's our card on the outside. And let's open it up. And there's our little ballerina. Congrats. Let's celebrate. Isn't that the cutest thing you have ever seen? And our little prima donna is right out the front. Oh, she's so cute. She's so very cute. So that's how it opens and closes. And now I'm going to do the envelope. Now there are a couple of ways you can do the envelope. You can make it with your envelope punch board. You get this sort of a shape. But if you don't have the punch board, I'm going to show you how to do it by deconstructing a business size envelope. All I've done is I've taken it apart. You can see how I've taken the glue off. And I now have this shape. And when it's put together, this I'll just move this up a bit so you can see a little bit more of my workspace here. This becomes this shape here. So this is the shape envelope that we're going to make for this card. And in fact, they would look really pretty. 
in this envelope here it just goes inside and I want you to make sure you leave a little bit of room either side top and bottom so it's not too tight and close it up and there's your envelope done however I wanted to make one start off in one corner and you draw around the shapes in one corner you draw around this shape here this is the bonus part of the video I said to stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see all of this happening now I'm going to come down here and just trace it now you could cut this out with scissors but I'm just going to bring in my trimmer and trim it up and I'm just cutting off the pieces that we don't need so I'm going to start with this side get this side level cut that piece off cut this side down make sure you keep the flaps in the fold lines in so I can see where it folds from one side to the other this one I'm going to just fold it there's a, fold, a crease line there I'm going to put my crease in here as well I'll do it this way because it gives me a little bit more paper and you can see this a little bit better in camera there So I'm going to cut away this piece here, this piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. And I'm just going to do that freehand because these are going to be folded up and over. You're not really going to see them anyway. I'm just going to cut them off. So here we go. Curve down to there. Same here. Curve down, cut these pieces off so this piece here this piece here and this piece is going to fold up and over this piece is going to fold up and over And any parts that still need to be cut off you can just cut those with scissors and decorate our envelope all three of the stamps bringing back in my ink but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp them a little ways off so this one is going to be here just peeking in the corner this one's going to be here Peeking in this corner. And this one is going to be peeking in here from this corner. So I want to put a little bit off the envelope so all you can see is a little bit of each one because this is a teaser if you don't really know what's inside here all I'm going to do is put some glue along each flap and you can trim any final parts that you think look untidy you just trim them off you can slip your card inside and send that through the mail because these are this Versafine ink is waterproof, so it can go in the post. So that's another way to make an envelope, which I think is kind of cool. Or you can make one that's pink. Really up to you which envelope you want. There's our little happy dancing line of hippos with our little prima donna out in the front. Isn't that cute? Okay, thank you so much for watching. 
I'll see you again next time. That was a lot of fun.